Okay, welcome everybody. If you haven't already done so, please stand and let's warm up our bodies. Shake everything out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn this light on here and have a little more light on the subject. There we go. Loosen everything up, just shake out. So using your muscles, not losing them, I hope. So let's start with some breathing as we warm up. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take some deep cleansing breaths. Inhale up, exhale, reach, and lower all the way down to the sides. Again, up again, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down. Check that posture, keep the feet flat on the floor, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, stretch up from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing. Feel the stretch up the sides of your body as you reach. Now check the posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. We'll start warming up the mid part of our body. So up again, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Keeping the legs and hips stationary, take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate just the upper body to the left. Front, inhaling. Exhale, rotate just the upper body to the right. Front, inhaling. Exhale, both arms straight up. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms in front of you in the parallel position. Arms are parallel to the floor and to each other, reaching forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart. And then release and bring the arms back behind. Clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together as best you can. Opening the chest, allowing you to breathe. Then release and bring the arms forward again, parallel position, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Don't forget to breathe. Then release, arms back behind, clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can keep the arms down by the torso or bring those arms up high. And if you wanna add something, bend the knees, knees directly over the feet, pushing out through the glutes, head and neck, an extension of the spine. Breathing, keep those abs in tight. Again, arms can be lowered or arms can be up high or in the middle. Then straighten the legs, inhale. Exhale, either hold it here, squeezing the shoulder blades together or arch back. Open that chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. And don't forget to breathe. And release. Bring the shoulders up by the ears, keep the shoulders back but no neck, arms are very relaxed. Breathe. And then release, long arms, long neck. Imagine reaching down toward the floor with the fingertips and touching the ceiling with the head. Again, release, no neck. Don't forget to breathe throughout. And then long arms, long neck. And release and roll the shoulders back, bending the elbows, great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. And then straighten the arms for full range of motion.
stake out, pushing your hips from side to side. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Bring the right arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane as you stretch to the side. Weight on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the right shoulder back as you reach up, look up. Align the left shoulder in that same plane and feel the stretch up the right side of your body. Breathe. Up inhale. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch to this side, staying in the same plane. Again, weight on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the left shoulder back as you reach up, look up, align the right shoulder in the same plane and feel the stretch up the left side of your body. Breathing. Up inhaling. Exhale, both arms straight up. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture and again, roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening the torso again. And then again, straighten the arms for full range of motion. Now the mid part of our body should be pretty well warmed up. We're gonna work on our heads and necks just for a bit. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Lower the chin to the chest, pressing the chin into the chest. Release, heavy head roll over to the left shoulder. Left ear directly above the left shoulder, keeping the shoulders back and down. Always feel the stretch up the opposite side of the neck. If you have any kind of neck issues, just roll in the front back and forth. If not, jaw closed, heavy head, center back. Heavy head, right shoulder, check that posture. Heavy head, center front, press the chin into the chest. Release, opposite direction, right shoulder. Heavy head, center back if you can. Left shoulder. Center front, heavy head, press that chin into the chest. Release, center front, inhaling. Exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder. Inhale, look up to the right. Exhale, look down to the right. Center front, inhaling. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, look up to the left. Exhale, look down to the right. Center, front, inhaling. Exhale on your own, just turn from side to side and roll a bit, but make sure that you do the same in both directions. Just on your own, making sure you're nice and loose in the head and neck, and then shake everything out again, moving your hips from side to side. Upper body should be nicely warmed up. And now we're gonna to go to the lower part of our body. So put the hands on the front of the thighs. Here, we'll turn to the side here. And bend at the hips, keep the back nice and flat. Head and neck at extension of the spine. If you start rounding, go back up because it's more important to keep a flat back. Keep those abs in tight. You wanna keep the shoulders pulled back as best you can. 
if you start rounding and go back where you were. Push out through the glutes when you're bending at the hips, keep those abs in nice and tight. Lengthen the spine, breathe. In. And now just release and relax down, head, neck, and arms, just relax. But keep the abs in nice and tight. Legs are straight, but you don't have to lock the knees. You can keep the knees soft if you need to. It's just a different stretch. If you keep the legs straighter, then you're gonna have a better hamstring and glute stretch. And if you want, you can rotate the upper body to the right, keeping the legs and hips stationary. Your fingertips can be on the back of the right thigh, calf, ankle, heel, or on the floor. Don't forget to breathe. And then in a fluid motion, rotate over to the other side and do the same on the left side of your body. Breathing. Back to the center and just let the body relax down. And then slowly round up one vertebra at a time, keeping the abs in tight, head, neck, and arms relaxed. And as the head comes up, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale again, stretch from side to side at your own pace, reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch up the sides of your body. Now, Put your hands on the waist or the hips. Focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move and just shake your right foot out as if you're shaking water off. And now the left, do the same. Shake as if you're shaking water off. I'm not focused and I should be. Hope you are. Okay, now back standing, feet parallel. We're gonna go ahead and Go into our little balance piece here. So if you need to stand by something, if you have difficulty with balance, stand by something that makes you feel more secure. Touch it if you need to. Focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. We'll do the right side first. Hands on the waist or the hips, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right knee up in front of you. Rotate it out to the side. Lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side. Rotate it back to the front and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, lowering the hips. Abs in tight. Up, inhaling, left side now. Exhale, bring that left knee up in the front. Rotate it to the side. Lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side. Rotate it back to the front and lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Knees over the feet, abs in tight. Up, inhaling. Exhale, bring that right leg in front of you. Focus on that spot. Leg is straight, foot is flexed. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhaling, I'm trying not to touch the floor if I can. Out to the side, leg is straight, foot is flexed, point, flex, point, flex. Lower, try not to touch again, inhaling. Exhale to the back, leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten that glute, point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up inhaling, left side now. Exhale, left leg forward. Sorry. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower inhaling. Exhale to the side. Point, flex, point, flex. Lower inhaling, focus on that spot. Exhale to the back, tighten that glute. Point, flex. Point, flex, lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling. 
Exhale. And now have your feet out about twice the width of the shoulders, hands on the waist or the hips. My feet are pointed pretty much forward. Push the hips forward. Now push the hips back. Forward again. Roll to the left, abs in tight. Roll to the back. Roll to the right. Roll forward. Roll to the right, going in the opposite direction. Roll back. Roll left. Roll forward. Back to the center, inhale. Exhale, toes out now, heels in. So when we bend our knees, we go directly over the feet. You may keep your hands on the waist or the hips or bring the arms in the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, stretch over to the right, knee directly over that foot, abs in tight. Up, inhale it. Exhale, stretch to the left, lowering down. Up, inhale it. Exhale, right. You may hold it as we did or reach toward the floor. You don't have to, to keep the abs in and breathe. Up, inhaling. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the other side, try to do on this side as well. I feel a stretch in my inner leg. I hope you do. Up, inhaling. Exhale, right, you can repeat or cross over and open to the back, abs in tight, breathing. Back up, inhaling. Exhale, cross over on the other side. You can repeat whatever you did on the other side of your body. Back to the center, inhaling. Exhale, arms up. Walk your feet in a bit if you need to, so that when you bend both knees, your knees go directly over the feet as you lower the hips down, lower the arms to the T position, palms down, palms up, and then slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Walk the feet in, shake everything out. Hopefully you're nicely warmed up. And now we're gonna do our little sun salutation. So stand at the front of your mats, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down, modify if you need to. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch forward, bending at the hips. Just let the upper body relax down. Let gravity pull you down. Abs are in tight. Modify if you need to. Then palms on the floor beside the feet, bending the knees if you need to. You can use blocks or well, you can modify up on your fingertips in the art of Uttanasana. With the palms down, it's Uttanasana. Breathing. Then bend the knees enough to slide the left foot back and the right foot back. Hip width apart, hips in the air. Come up on those toes or the balls of your feet. Push the heels down, head between the arms. Lengthen the torso and arms. Roll or rotate the shoulders down from the outside. So the triceps are somewhat facing downward as best you can. Breathe in this downward facing dog. You can always modify down on your knees if you choose. Listen to your body and breathe. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position. Try to make sure your rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. And stay high on those shoulders, head and neck are an extension of the spine. 
and your breathing. If you can, you can bend the elbows and come to a half plank. And then come back up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, open to the right, to a side plank. You can modify with the left or lower knee on the floor. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other, or stack your feet on top of each other, on their sides. Lots of options, whatever you choose, focus on your posture and your breathing. You want lower the upper arm above the head, bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank, check your posture, make sure you're stable, and then open to the other side. And whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want, you can lower the upper arm above the head, bring it back up, inhaling, exhale back down to a plank, check the posture, hips back up into the air, feet hip width apart, up on those toes, push the heels down, lengthen again, come into that downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying on your knees, walk the dog. Keeping the toes on the floor, bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor and switch up back and forth, walking your dog at your own pace, feeling the stretch up the back of your legs, keeping those abs in tight. And then push both heels down. Lower again to a plank. Check that posture, bend the knees, knees on the floor, tops of the feet on the floor, lower down either into a puppy pose with the forearms and the head on the floor, rear end up, or slide all the way down to a moon position, resting the rear end on the heels or as close as you can. Abs in tight, head and neck relaxed, arms still outstretched, breathing. Now remember, you can do the restorative moon if you want by opening your knees toward the outer part of your mat and lowering the torso down in between in front of you. So do what works for your body. Breathing. Pick the head up, slide the arms down. Forearms on the floor, clasp your fingers together and come into that low hover. High on the shoulders, the elbows are directly under those shoulders. Try to make sure your rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. Head and neck and extension of the spine. You can always modify down on your, um, with the legs on the floor if you'd like. Listen to your body. Don't forget to breathe. And now lower those quads and have the quads on the floor, tops of the feet on the floor, and you'll be in this elbow cobra, looking up high on those shoulders. You may hold it here or come into the sphinx with the palms on the floor in front of you forearms on the floor, just like a sphinx, looking up, breathing. Now you may hold it here, breathing, or palms on the floor beside the rib cage, elbows close to the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and come all the way up to a full cobra. High on those shoulders, look up and breathe. You can jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Now 
Now, bend the knees and come up on all fours. Knees under the uh, hips and palms under the shoulders, high on those shoulders. Head and neck, an extension of the spine, abs in tight. We're gonna do the superwoman or superman posture. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, focus on the spot in front of you and bring the left arm and the right leg up, opposites. Your limbs are as parallel to the floor as possible. Focus on your spot and breathe. High on that right shoulder, abs in tight. Lower inhale. Exhale, right arm and left leg. Again, as parallel to the floor as possible, high on the left shoulder, head and neck and extension of the spine, focusing on a spot in front of you. Abs in tight, breathe in. Lower inhaling. Exhale, left arm and right leg again. Eye on that shoulder, focus on your posture and your breathing. Point the toe, flex that foot, pushing out through the heel. Relax the foot and lower, inhale. Exhale, right arm and left leg. Focus on your posture and your breathing as well as that spot. Point the toe, flex that foot. Relax the foot and lower inhale. Exhale, left arm and right leg again. You may hold it as we did before or keeping the abs in tight. Inhaling, round the back, bringing elbow and knee together underneath. Exhale, stretch it back out. Stay high on that shoulder. And inhale. Exhale out. In inhale. Exhale out. In inhale. Exhale out. In inhale. Exhale out. Hold it. Point. Flex. Relax. Lower inhale. Exhale, right arm and left leg. Hold it or do whatever you did on the other side. And inhale. Exhale, out. And inhale. Exhale, out. And inhale. Exhale, out. And inhale. Exhale, out. In inhale, exhale out, hold it, point, flex, relax, lower inhale. Exhale, slide back to either a puppy pose or a moon position. Head, neck, and arms relaxed, abs in tight, breathe in. Pick the heads up, slide forward. We're going to do the upper torso twist and shoulder stretch. Fingers flared, thumbs touching, arms straight, head between the arms, hips up off the heels. 
back is as straight as possible. It'll be angled, but as flat as possible. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take the left arm, place it underneath the right, perpendicular to it, palm up. Lower the shoulder to the floor as close as you can get it. Turn your head and look at those fingertips naturally curled up with those palms up. The abs are in tight and you're breathing. Again, this is the upper torso twist and shoulder stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and change sides. Right arm under the left, palm up. Shoulder on the floor as close as you can get it. Turn and look at those fingertips. Abs in tight, breathe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and change sides. We're going to do one more on each side. Left arm under the right, turn, look, palm up, abs in tight, breathe. Take a deep breath in, exhale and change sides. Right arm under the left, turn, look, palm up, abs in tight, breathing. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and come back to that moon position. You can do the puppy pose with the rear end up if you choose. Listen to your body and breathe, abs in tight. Pick the head up, slide the arms down. Elbows and forearms on the floor. Again, come into that low hover if you can. You can modify with the legs and hips down if you choose. Try to stay high on that shoulder, or those shoulders, and breathe. Head and neck, an extension of the spine. Now, if you can come up on the palms of your hands into a high hover or just a plank posture, just briefly. And then hips up into the air, feet hip width apart, up on those toes, push the heels down, lengthen again, come into that downward dog. Breathe, modifying if you need to, listen to your body. Now lower the hips enough to slide the left foot and the right foot back up where you started if possible. And come into either Ardha Uttanasana with the fingertips on the floor or on the front of your legs, modifying if you need to, keeping the shoulders back as best you can. Abs in tight, lengthen the spine, head and neck and extension of the spine, breathe. And now just release and relax down, head, neck, and arms relax. We're gonna come up and you can modify by bending the knees coming up. You can round up one vertebra at a time as we did before. 
or arms at your ears or your sides. Flatten the back as you slowly come up. Inhaling as you reach the top with the arm and the torso. Exhale, bend the knees, knees over the feet in this fierce pose or chair pose or utkatasana, lots of names. Breathing. You can lower the hips a little more if possible, but listen to your body and see what you can do. Then straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, reach upward and hold it here, breathing or arch back. Reaching back, jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture and take another deep cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Now roll the shoulders back, great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Breathing. And straighten the arms for full range of motion. Breathing. And now just shake everything out, moving your hips from side to side. Hopefully you feel like you've gotten a pretty good workout so far. So let's go ahead and get down to the floor. You can use your arms if you need to, but I'm gonna try not to, I didn't. So do what you can do, challenge yourself, don't hurt yourself, but get down to the floor in the best way possible for you. If you have knee issues, you might uh, have to modify on this or just sit cross-legged, but what I'd like you to do is sit with one knee on top of the other. My left knee is on top of the right knee, so therefore my left foot is on the right side of my body, and the right foot is on the left side of my body. Nice and tall, my hands are just on my knee. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and stretch forward over those knees. See if you can get your fingertips on the floor, if at all possible. This is a great hip opener. Head and neck can just relax down or be an extension of the spine but keep the abs in nice and tight. Breathing. Try to lengthen that spine as best you can. And then slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Now, if you can't get your knees on top of each other because you have hip issues or knee issues, you can just sit cross-legged. But right now I'd like to switch it up. My left knee was on top. Now I'm gonna put my right knee on top of my left knee. Therefore, my left foot is on the right side of my body and my right foot is on the left side of my body again. Nice and tall. Just a different knee on the top. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stretch forward, bending at the hips. See if you can get your fingertips to the floor. Lengthen that spine and just relax the head and neck if you can, as best you can. Just keep those abs in tight and breathe. It should be a good hip opener. Even if your legs are just crossed, it should be at least a bit of a hip opener. And then slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. And now unwrap. 
I'd like you to put the soles of your feet together and hold your ankles or your toes and see if you can bring the feet up off the ground and balance on your sits bones or on your rear end. You can bring the feet up in front of you a little bit or bring them down close to the body. Try to keep them off the floor so that you're balancing. And then lower the feet to the floor and lower those knees down toward the floor as best you can, keeping the torso nice and tall and the abs in tight. You may keep it holding it here or release and put both hands back behind you. I like to have my fingers pointed outward. Some like the fingers pointed forward, but lengthen the spine, arch the back just a bit, opening the chest and lower those knees down toward the floor as best you can, breathing, keeping those abs in nice and tight and opening that chest. And now bring the hands back. You can have the hands on the ankles or the toes and see if you can lower those knees a little lower than you did earlier. Nice and tall. Release and rock and roll from side to side, massaging the upper thighs and the rear end on the floor or on the mat as you roll, promoting circulation. Always breathing. And now back to the center, lower those knees again, just briefly release, straighten those legs out in front of you. Seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight, point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels, relax the feet. Release the hold and just relax the hands on the top of the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and round down one vertebra at a time. And as your head reaches the floor, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, take a deep breath in. Exhale, push down with the arms and slowly bring the legs up. Now, if you have any kind of knee or back issues, pardon me, bend the knees and then straighten the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Or you can just try to keep those legs straight as you slowly bring them up. Perpendicular to the floor as best you can. The lower back will then be against the floor. Your abs are in tight and your legs are up straight. If you have difficulty keeping the legs straight, you can use your hands on the back of the thighs to help, or you can wrap a towel or a strap around until you're strong enough to do it on your own. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Try to rest the shoulders down on the surface below you. Relax the feet, circle the feet round and round, lubricating those ankles, keeping the lower back against the floor and the abs in tight. And then change direction with those circles. And try to go the same number of circles, both directions if possible, to make sure your body is as balanced as possible. Then point and flex. Relax the feet, open the legs. Place the hands on the inner thighs, putting pressure downward keeping that lower back against the floor as best you can and the abs in tight. If you can keep the legs nice and straight, you can slide the hands down to the calves or the ankles, but try to keep the shoulders on the floor as best you can and keep the pressure on those inner legs as best you can as well. Abs are in tight, but you're always breathing. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hold, bring the legs up again, perpendicular to the floor. Arms at your sides near your hips, palms down. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet and slowly lower those straight legs down toward the floor, slowly and in control. 
Remember, if you have any kind of back issues, bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor until those legs are nice and straight. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and slowly bring the right leg up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot, circle that ankle round and round and change direction with the circles. Point, flex. Relax the foot, bend the knee, place the toe on the floor, knee straight up. Slide the arms up to the T position, palms down, keeping the shoulders on the floor throughout. Keep the toes on the floor where they are also. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and just cross that right knee and thigh over that left thigh as best you can. Keeping both shoulders on the floor, turn and look at that right hand. This is a type of a sp spinal and pelvic twist. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you want, you can take your left hand and place it on the right hip and slide it down and putting a little more pressure toward the floor, but stopping before you get to the knee or just let gravity do its job. Focus on your posture and your breathing, keeping those abs in nice and tight. You can modify by looking straight up if you choose. You just get a little more of a twist if you turn and look at the opposite hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the knee back up. Your back will be against the floor. Make sure you're nice and straight and even and bring that leg up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toe and flex the foot. Keep the leg straight and the foot flex. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and cross that straight right leg over the left side of your body and get it as close to the floor in that left hand as possible. You don't have to keep flexing the foot once you get it there. You can if you want, but I'm holding my toes with my hand, but you do what you have to do, but keep that leg as straight as possible. Turn and look at that right hand if you can, if you're not modifying. Keep those abs in tight. Both legs are straight as best you can. If you need to modify by bending the left knee, do what you need to do, but breathe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and slowly bring that straight right leg back up perpendicular to the floor. If this hurts your back in any way, if you have any kind of issues, you can modify by bending that left knee with the sole of the foot on the floor. But if you're not using a towel or a strap to help keep that leg straight, you can bring that right hand and place it on the back of the right thigh. And if you can keep the leg straight, you can slide it up to the calf or the ankle. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and slowly lower that straight right leg out on the right side of your body and get it as close to the floor as you can, keeping the left glute on the floor. Both shoulders on the floor. Turn and look at that left or opposite hand. Abs are in tight and you're breathing. Point that toe, flex that foot, pushing out through the heel. Relax the foot, slowly bring that straight leg back up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, bend that knee and hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position, breathing, abs in tight. 
the legs are relaxed, you're tightly hugging that one leg in, your back is against the floor and the abs are in tight. Don't forget to breathe. Remember to align your knee kind of between the hip and the shoulder. So it's not sticking out to the side or in the middle. If you want a little more here, you can bring the head up toward that knee in the embryo position, keeping the abs in nice and tight. Lower the head, inhale. Exhale, release the hold, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, straighten that leg up perpendicular to the floor, point the toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot and slowly lower that straight right leg down toward the floor, slowly and in control. You're going to eventually end up holding it about six inches off the floor, breathing. If you're not sure what six inches looks like, pick your head up and check. Point the toe, flex the foot, relax the foot and lower to the floor, inhaling. Exhale, push down with the arms and slowly bring both, excuse me, that left leg back up perpendicular to the floor, just like we did the right before. Point the toe, flex the foot. Relax the foot, circle that ankle round and round. You're actually circling the foot, lubricating the ankle, and then change direction and try to do the same number of circles going in the opposite direction. Then point and flex. Relax the foot, bend the knee, place the toes in the floor on that inner left thigh. You can be as far down as the knee if you want. I like mine up a little higher, but do what works for you. Slide those arms up to the T position, palms down, shoulders remain on the floor. Keep those left toes, at least one of them on the floor throughout this part of the posture. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and cross that left knee over the right thigh and get it as close to the floor as you can. Keeping both shoulders on the floor, turn and look at that left hand. Don't forget to breathe, abs in tight. Again, a modification is looking straight up. And if you want to help that stretch, that twist, you can place your right hand on the left hip and slide it down that left thigh, putting pressure toward the floor, but stopping before you get to the knee or just let gravity do its job. Again, keep the abs in tight and breathe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that knee back up. Your back will be against the floor and straighten that leg up perpendicular to the floor. Again, if you have difficulty keeping the legs straight, you can always use a towel or a strap to help in that department. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, point the toe, flex the foot and cross that straight left leg over the right side of your body. Get it as close to the floor in that right hand as possible keeping both shoulders on the floor. Turn, look at that left hand, keep the abs in tight and breathe. You don't have to keep the foot flexed. Once it's here, just keep that leg as straight as possible. I'm holding the toes with my right hand. Abs in tight again, breathing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and slowly bring that straight left leg back up, perpendicular to the floor. Your back will be against the floor. Point the toes, flex the foot. Relax the foot, place that left hand on the back of the left thigh if you're not using a towel or strap to keep the leg straight. And if you can keep the leg straight, you can slide the hands, hand to the calf or the ankle. 
Modify if you need to, take a deep breath in. Exhale and slowly lower. I'm gonna flex my foot actually, you don't have to. Lower that straight left leg out on the left side of your body as close to the floor as possible, keeping that right glute on the floor, I'm relaxing my foot now. Turn and look at that opposite hand if possible, keeping both shoulders on the floor. Abs are in tight, breathing. Point the toe, flex that foot, pushing out through the heel. Relax the foot, slowly bring that straight leg back up, inhaling. Exhale, bend that knee and hug it into your chest with your arms. Half wind releasing position on this side of your body. Remember when you do these, whenever you pull your knees in toward the chest, if you have any kind of knee issues that this bothers you, you can release and just put your hands on the back of the thigh. Puts less pressure on your knee. So it depends on your body. If it bothers you, modify. No, no harm there at all. Do what works for your body. And if you want a little more here and you did it on the other side, you can raise the head up toward the knee in the embryo position, keeping those abs in tight. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale, release the hold, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, straighten that leg up perpendicular to the floor, point the toe, flex the foot, relax the foot and slowly lower that straight left leg down toward the floor, slowly and in control. You're going to end up holding it about six inches off the floor, just like the other side, breathing. And you can always check by picking the head up. You're just using a few more muscles. Just be careful. Point the toes, flex the foot, relax the foot and lower to the floor, inhaling. Exhale and just relax your body. We're gonna go ahead and do the Bananasana. It's a different type of spinal twist. So slide that right foot out the heel out on the floor, keeping the right leg straight, and then bring the left leg, straight leg over and cross the ankles, and then make sure both glutes are on the floor. Then bring both arms up, inhaling. Exhale, clasp your fingers together so you make a cup in your hand, pick up your hands and just place your head in the cup of your hands. Elbows out to the side, like you're relaxing at a beach or something. And then bring that upper torso to the right also. So you're in the Bananasana position on the right side of your body. Hopefully you feel a stretch up the left side, keeping those glutes on the floor, abs in tight breathing. It's a nice little spinal twist that we don't always get in our bodies. Take a deep breath in, exhale, uncross, come back to the center, bring the head back to the center, but the head's still in the cup of your hands. Take another deep breath in, exhale, slide that left leg out. So the heel is just slid across the floor, your left leg straight, bring the right leg, cross that ankle over, and then lower both glutes to the floor. Both legs are straight. Bring that torso, upper torso, over to the left now in the Bananasana on this side, the left side of your body. My legs are pretty tight. My glutes are tight. My abs are tight. I'm feeling a stretch up the right side of my body. Breathing.
Take a deep breath in. Exhale and cross, bring both legs to the center, bring the head back to the center, release the arms, arms at your sides and near your hips, palms down. Push down with the arms and slowly bring those legs up. Remember, you can bend the knees if you have issues or just keep the legs straight. Legs are perpendicular to the floor, lower backs against the floor, abs are in tight. Arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees and lower those feet to the floor, allowing the knees to open. Let gravity just pull them down. Open the arms just enough so the shoulders can rest down to the surface below you. Palms are up, fingers are naturally curled up. Close your eyes and breathe in this bottle opener posture. Now we'll prepare for Shavasana or full relaxation. So if you want, you can just slide the heels down on the floor until the legs are straight. Feet will flop out to the sides and you're in that corpse posture, one of the most comfortable postures for most bodies. If you want a little more, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, bring those legs up again. Perpendicular to the floor, abs in tight, back is against the floor. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet and slowly lower those straight legs down again, slowly and in control. Remember to bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor if you have any type of back issues where that's uncomfortable at all. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and now just relax in that corpse posture, feet flopped out, palms up, shoulders resting down to the surface below you. You may want to cover yourselves with towels or blankets, put socks on, put a sweatshirt or sweater on. You may want to roll your heads from side to side until you find the most comfortable position for your head and neck. You may have to do that again in a bit though, because first of all, we're gonna tighten everything as we exhale after taking a very deep breath. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath into our systems, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and tighten. <laughs> and release and just rest down to the surface below you. Again, you may want to roll your heads from side to side. You may want to put something under your knees if you have any kind of back issues and that's uncomfortable. Let's take a few deep breaths together in order to slow our heart rates down and slow our bodies down just a bit as we begin to relax our bodies. So take a deep breath, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. And then slowly through slightly parted lips, exhale through the mouth until those lungs are empty. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And again, slowly exhale through the mouth. And continue to breathe on your own in whatever manner helps you fully relax. Your shoulders are resting down into the surface below you. Your eyes are closed. Breathe. Each time you exhale, consciously release your joints and relax your muscles just a little bit more. Focus on your body as we move through it. 
But first, open your minds, open your minds and travel to one of your favorite safe places. Your safe place might be a place you frequent in reality, or it could be a place that you only know in your mind, but you know you always feel safe there. You're in your safe place now. You might be alone or with your favorite person or people. Focus first now on the hands and the fingers, relaxing the muscles, releasing the joints. As you begin to move up the arms, release the joints in the wrists and relax the forearms. Release the joints in your elbows. Relax the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. And now relax the shoulders, the deltoid and lateral muscles as you release the joints. The arms and shoulders are relaxed. Allow those shoulders to rest down into the surface below you. Lower the focus now to the toes and the feet. Relax the muscles, release the joints. Allow the heels to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. Breathe. As you begin to move up your legs, release the joints in your ankles. Relax the shins as you relax the calves. Release the joints in your knees. Relax the hamstrings up the back of your legs. Relax the quadriceps as you relax the thighs. Relax the hips, releasing the joints. And now relax the glutes. Allow those glutes to sink deeper into the surface below you. Your legs and hips are now relaxed. Your arms and shoulders are still relaxed. Begin to focus now on the torso, starting at the lower part of your back. Relax the spinal column from the tailbone moving up between the muscles of the lower back as you relax them. Relax the obliques up the sides of your torso. Relax the abdominal muscles. Relax the diaphragm and rib cage areas, remembering to breathe. Relax the mid part of your back and spinal column. Relax the upper back and shoulder blades, relaxing the spinal column, moving up between those shoulder blades all the way through the neck to the base of the skull. The back is relaxed. Most of the torso is relaxed. Let's focus now on the chest. Relax the sternum area and pecs. Relax the clavicle or collarbone area.
And now relax the neck from the bottom to the top and all the way around. Breathe. Release the jaw as you relax the chin. Relax the lips. Relax the tongue. Relax the cheeks. Relax the nose and ears. Relax the eyes and temples. Relax the brow. Smooth the forehead. And now relax the scalp, beginning at the forehead, at the perfect intensity for you. Imagine a massage moving all the way through the scalp to the base of the skull of the neck. Breathe. Your mind is open, thinking healthy thoughts that make you happy. You're in your safe place. Your body is relaxed and functioning perfectly. And now from wherever you may have traveled in your mind, it is time to come home. So take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and become aware of your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and bring the legs up, bending the knees, hug them into your chest with your arms. Raise the head up toward the knees. Lower the head, inhaling. Exhale and either roll to the right to sit up or rock and roll up to a seated position and sit cross-legged, half lotus or full lotus, nice and tall. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhaling. Exhale, and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. I hope you all feel better than when we started, and I hope you got what you needed. And please unmute yourself so I can hear your wonderful voices as I stop the recording. Thank you for being here.